everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic, back with another exciting video review. Huge thank you to Mattel for sending us this early. It is the convention exclusive Dennis Nedry in Barbasol can. Obviously, you can't tell that's what's in here. Um, it's just a really cool box, but inside is a three and three quarter inch figure of Dennis Nedry. I'm super stoked to get a look at this, and I'll give you a little bit of background as we open it up, since we are doing an unboxing today. But um, before we get started, uh, this is the box that it comes in. Um, again, there is a figure inside here, but the box is beautiful. It almost reminds me of the original VHS uh, Jurassic Park release. Just this um, black gloss with the Jurassic Park logo. Um, you got Jurassic Park writing on the side. Um, you got a, a seizure warning down here because uh, the figure inside actually has some lights as well as sounds. And then uh, on the bottom here, we also have uh, just some legal Mattel logo, Universal logo, Amblin logo, all that good stuff all here. Um, very cool. Again, this is just the outer shell of the box the real stuff is actually inside and i'm super excited to take a look um, we're gonna have to open it up crack it open and get a look at what's inside so we'll go ahead and not waste any more time talking about that and get a look at the actual figure inside again huge thank you to mattel for sending us this um super excited to review it on the channel could not wait to bust it open um, but yeah a little bit of background here uh, this figure was originally planned as a convention exclusive for san diego comic con but after the conventions were all kind of canceled or delayed due to the coronavirus um they had to put this stuff online and uh, this one was online at entertainment earth uh, a couple weeks ago and it sold out within like one hour um, it's a popular one and it is going to be available soon. We will have more details on collectjurassic.com. Um, they'll be available in limited quantities probably later here in July. But uh, um, this is the figure in hand a little early. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Um, so inside the box is this Barbasol can. This is awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the box aside for now and focus on the Barbasol can itself. Um, but uh, here we'll go ahead and put the box back here. The Barbasol can is, it's kind of big. It's chunky. It's not like the size of like a, a normal Barbasol can. Um, in fact, I'm going to grab one off frame here. Um, this is a Barbasol can uh, uh, prop. This is the actual size. So as you can see, the action figure uh, case is a little bit bigger, but all the details are here. Like, um, everything like even the net weight of 11 ounces is the same down here as well as beard buster and all that good stuff Ooh, not going to turn this guy around quite yet um but yeah just a huge barbasol can obviously a call to the movie with the cryo can action um you know that uh dotson gives nedry in one of the first scenes in the film so um beautifully recreated here with this uh this this case for the figure it's like a mixture of plastic and like a maybe another kind of really plastic coated um like fiber board or something right here almost plastic board um but it yeah if you move this turn this thing around we can see ah you can re you can um you can see what's inside it's the dennis nedry figure and somehow there's a way to get lights on in here let's see if we can get it to work if there's a, a switch oh looks like there's a plastic tab uh -huh. on the oh you didn't say the magic word that is awesome. So as you can see, he's lit up inside. Um, hopefully you can get a good view of that. Um, and if you rotate it again, uh, it shuts. You can't, oh, see, Barbasol back here. There's the, uh, the regular Barbasol directions. I love some of the kind of little Easter eggs they have in here. Uh, says Barbasol Original Shave Cream is so thick and rich that it looks just like whipped cream on a piece of pie. Ha ha, we know the accessory inside. One of them is a pie. Um, has some super fun stuff like deliver to e-stock as well as uh, drive carefully and avoid crashing your vehicle. Keep glasses on your face. Um, warning, do not play fetch with the Dilophosaurus. Do not get venom in your eyes. Uh, very clever uh, to go up back here and read all the little Easter eggs in the back on these instructions. So that's what it looks like. Um, um, when you just have it set without the figure showing and then when you rotate it by rotating the bottom boom uh, uh, uh. there's the dennis nedry inside the crowd can that is so cool and lit up um with different colored leds in there just really epic and i think if you press the top I'm totally unappreciated in my time more movie lines just like they promised totally unappreciated in my time hilarious um we'll go ahead and press it again and no wonder you're extinct this is like literally the exact same lines as the movie. This is hilarious. It's perfectly captured. Dodson. Dodson. We've got Dodson here. <laughs> it's great. Let's do it Don't again. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Uh, uh, uh. You 
Oh man, that is just genius. I mean, it's crystal clear too, if you can't tell. Um, and it lights up every time you activate it. And I believe if you go ahead and shut the can, it'll still, no, it won't activate then. So it only activates when the can is, um, when you've rotated it. So we will go to rotate it again. You can see those lights activating again. I mean, that is so cool. That is such a cool way, you know, to display the figure. You know, last year, um, what they gave us was the um, the uh, the Hammond in the box, um, and and the doors open, and you can see the Hammond inside, which was pretty cool. I think at the time that totally blew our minds. Um, but and you know, th this this outer packaging definitely complements that. Um, but you know, there really wasn't a lot going on here in terms of interactivity. It was just a cool kind of shell for a figure inside, which we'll do a little comparison of those figures later but um just the packaging outer shell packaging right there um you can see that's kind of where the interactivity ends with those doors opening but here we have this awesome light up feature with the audio i mean that is just awesome we haven't even looked at the figure itself this case is just so cool with that you know barbasol design perfectly realized it's sturdy um you know it's it's kind of made of this plastic fiber stuff um and then of course the lights and the sounds just so so cool i'm super excited about it genuinely really enjoy this um let's go ahead and figure out how we can get this figure out so yeah similar to how you turn it to reveal the figure you're also going to um sorry hold on to the bottom of this base and pull the figure out kind of firmly and then the, the whole top piece kind of comes off just like the movie except instead of embryos inside we have a dennis nedry action figure so this whole top piece comes off uh, with the clear the clear window as part of this and then here's the figure uh kind of packaged inside looks like he's taped um so we'll go ahead and carefully cut that tape um and get a closer look at the figure inside so with that tape removed uh this whole kind of shell is uh kind of just pops off here you can see that um the background is really cool it's got this um like faux uh tropical scene as a as a label or like a, a sticker back here that puts right on the plastic base uh you also have um the uh the, the little foot holes that the nettery figure sits on then you can see those led lights i bet there's a way to activate uh, those uh, yeah. you so you can press this button word. right here uh, uh, uh. and you it'll light up uh, uh, it just says uh, 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 which is kind of funny word. Uh, does it say anything? Uh, 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 yeah. That's all it say says. I like that. Word. It only says the other lines when you're in the crowd can, which is kind of funny. Um, and then here's the figure in that clamshell, and we're just going to pop this apart and get him out. Um, so take out that that outer piece. And here's Nedry inside with all of his little accessories. Um, we'll go ahead and take him out very carefully. Um, man, this is like, you know, <laughs> kind of a one-of-a-kind piece, so I definitely want to be careful to take him out of here. Uh, here he comes out of here. Oh, man. That new action figure goodness. It's been a long time since I've held a new Mattel Jurassic figure, so super excited. That tiny little crab can. Get that out of here. Uh, and then my favorite accessory probably in this set would be the piece of pie. It's really wedged in there, but I think I got it out. Um, so there's the piece of pie. And then, the, yeah, this little clamshell thing kind of fits back together. And we will kind of put that back here. So um, here he is, Dennis Nedry in the flesh. Um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the figure first, and then we can take a look at the accessories and kind of go over the whole package again, um, you know, and go over everything in detail with a few comparisons as well. So here he is, Dennis Nedry. Um, the first thing I noticed is his glasses. He's got his glasses just like the movie. Um, the glasses are the clear plastic, which is a nice touch, um, very similar to... Uh, the John Hammond figure, um, the Ian Malcolm figure. So he's got him here too, which I think is just a really cool little detail that Mattel does for figures with glasses. I know with like certain figures, they've painted the glasses on, which always looks kind of weird. But for this and, and Hammond and Malcolm, I think it's the right move to kind of do these individually sculpted glasses. Then you got Wayne Knight's likeness there in the face, which is pretty good. Uh, this Hawaiian print uh, shirt, which is awesome as well as a, a watch painted on perfectly. Then he's got kind of these acid wash pants or jeans. And then of course those sandals, those feet and the sandals, which is just so funny. Um, so the, the paint detail, they really went all out with this. I don't know if that's just because it's an exclusive or um, they're just putting a little more detail into human figures going forward. Um, but there's definitely a lot here. Of course he has all that um, Mattel articulation with his legs that 
that bend, his thighs that bend, his knees that bend, um, his feet that, um, his feet, his feet are sculpted um, to the legs. And then of course his arms all bend at the, uh, the shoulder as well as the, uh, the elbow, now, no wrist rotation. And then the, the head as well can rotate from side to side. So he's got uh, all the good articulation that we had come to expect from a three and three quarter Mattel figure all at work here. Then those accessories, um, which are just awesome, comes with that bag of money that Dotson gives him, just a solid brown uh, molded, Bag, but lots of little details here, little clasps, a little bit of texture on it, very nice. Um, you got that Barbasol can, which uh, is very tiny. Hopefully we can get a good shot of it. It's like incredibly tiny, but it's got all the little details of the big Barbasol can shrunk down to a tiny size. And of course that fits in his hand. His, uh, his I guess his left hand is sculpted so he can hold that. And then of course we have the pie, which is my personal favorite. Um, the piece of pie with the shaving cream. It's just such a funny little, um, <laughs> funny little scene to uh, commemorate in plastic form where he tests the shaving cream can with the shaving cream and puts it on a dessert tray in the restaurant. So super cool that they include that here. Comes sculpted and painted on the little plate um, with the whipped cream. So really, really funny. Um, and that's kind of all the accessories he comes with. No, uh, you know, guns or capture gear, just movie specific props which i think is just hilarious i mean this is just an awesome figure you know if we talk about hammond last year you know hammond came with well let's go ahead and get hammond in here um hammond here he came with the uh the the cane and he came with the little uh hatchery stand which was cool but i i think they really knocked it out of the park with nedry in this case not just the display and everything but the figure itself i think the accessories are a lot more um you know a lot more kind of uh Fan favority, I, I suppose, uh, are sort of a, a deep cuts for fans versus just this kind of generic hatchery accessory, which I love, but it's not really something that's purely from the film, like the little pie and the little cryo can is. So just super, super clever. And this figure is just awesome. I mean, it's, again, it's a Mattel action figure um, and, it, and it, it's got all the articulation you want. And when you put it next to the other figures, like uh, Hammond and Grant, um, let me get Grant in frame here. You know, it, it pairs well with them. Uh, he's got the, the the sort of short stature next to Grant. Um, he's a little bit uh, kind of the same height as Hammond. So um, just super, super well done. Um, and, and these figures all look great. And Nedry is probably... Uh, a great example of one where they're really going crazy with the paint too in terms of that uh, that Hawaiian print shirt. So just an awesome figure. Really, really excited about this guy. Um, I, oh, I got to do a comparison with uh, the Dilophosaurus as well, as you can see um, with the uh, Tac Pack Dilophosaurus. Um, you can recreate that scene. Granted, he's in his yellow raincoat. Um, it's, it's fun to finally get a Nedry figure next to Mattel's Dilophosaurus. Uh, super, super fun. Um, man, this figure is just so cool. But really, I think what makes it um, even better is this whole display. It comes with this cryo can. And what's great is you can put it back in. I mean, we can put him... I think we could actually just put him on this stand even without the uh, the clamshell because he does have those little holders for his feet. And then you could go ahead and put this back on if you wanted. And... Um, you know, I think it fits on a certain way, so I should be careful with how I put this on. Ah, I dropped my crowd can. Um, yeah, it looks like that those those buttons kind of fit on a certain way, but um, yeah, you can put this back on um, with the shell uh, so that it you can kind of recreate what it looked like before you opened the whole thing up, which is not really something you could do. Well, I guess you could do it with the Hammond figure too. But yeah, the fact that you can actually put this thing totally back together, back in the crowd can with the figure kind of all on display perfectly in there in the plastic. It's just such a cool um, sort of replay value for us collectors who don't really play with our toys and like to put them out on display. You can get them out, take a great look at them uh, like we have here, and then put them right back in the display case, which is just really cool. I mean, again, this whole, this whole package compared to last year's exclusive figure, which was John Hammond, which I'll get, get out here. Um, you know, it's a, it complements it great. Obviously, I love Hammond, um, and I think that this figure complements it great. Uh, but something about this crowd can kind of just takes the cake a little bit, um, just because you can 
put it all back in there and it's got all that great all that great interactivity you can and you can hide it away and make this sort of a uh, a cryo can uh that just kind of hangs out too um so just oh man just so cool uh this one's is just gonna be probably one of the uh the top mattel jurassic collectibles that they ever produce i hope they keep making these uh convention exclusives because uh this is what they did this year I honestly cannot wait to see what they do next year um, because this thing is just totally, totally hits the mark for me as far as, um, you know, an action figure of Nedry um, is concerned as far as likeness and all that stuff. Um, and, and of course, the package itself is awesome. So um, very cool. Thanks again to Mattel for saying this to me. Super excited to share it with you guys um, and get the figure out and get a closer look at them for everybody in 4K. If you're watching this review in 4K, it's just nice to get a, a real close up view of the whole package. Um, and again, even though this thing is sold out at Entertainment Earth right now, uh, we will have more information on uh, pre-orders on uh, Mattel Creations and some other stuff. So definitely stay tuned to Collect Jurassic. Um, and again, thanks for watching. I, I'm very excited to show this off. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and I will see you next time.